What's up, y'all? You already know who it is. Arcane, King of the Dot, reigning, defending, two-time champ. First of all, there's been a lot of rumors floating around online, and the facts have been out there for a long time. So anybody with any level of intelligence that can think for themselves should be able to put it together. I'm not going to address it too much. I'm going to deal with it in the ring. But I'll tell you right now, any one of my opponents who thinks that that's going to be some type of angle that can do any damage to me, y'all are going to be sorely mistaken. Now, second order of business, Corey Sharon. I caught your little blog that you shot in your mom's foyer wearing the wrestling belt. Uh, I saw the pictures on Facebook of your grandma wearing the wrestling belt and your family cooked you a cake that says congratulations on 106 and Park victory. Let me just explain something to you. I understand that you want to call me out for five grand and let me make this perfectly clear. I accept. We're going to do that battle, but I'll tell you right now, it's not going to be for a King of the Dot title shot and let me explain to you why. I went through two Grand Prix. You were in both of those Grand Prix as well. You tried to take the same route to the chain as me, but the difference is you failed. I succeeded. Anybody who loses out of the Grand Prix does not get a title shot. It doesn't work like that. Now you did your little 106 in Park thing. That's cool, but I don't care how many places you go out and embarrass yourself wearing a King of the Dot flag on your chest. That doesn't impress me. I mean, I saw in your blog you said that you applied to be on the show for three years and they didn't have you on there for three years. There's a reason for that, Sharon. You're an embarrassment. They don't want someone like you on camera and it got to the point where Freestyle Friday just became relevant and you don't see real MCs jumping on that show anymore. This is the caliber that 106 and Park has sunk to. You've got Bow Wow as the host now and the day that we let 106 and Park dictate what's going on King of the Dot, uh, that's a sad day. So, I mean, what is it, Sharon? You think you can just name drop your way to a title shot? Or you think you can just pay for a title shot? Is that what we're doing now? We're just letting anybody who wants to can just pay for a title shot? No, nah, that's, you can't pay the gold price. You can't pay the gold price for this. I paid the iron price. And every other King of the Dot champion before me has done the same. They've carved a path to that title. And that's something that you are not capable of doing. Think about how former King of the Dot champions have got their shot. Think about Bender. Think about how he carved his path to the title shot. Think about someone like PH. Think about the all the wins that he had to get just to even get a title shot. Think about people like even Poor Rich. Even if you might not like his style, he still made those consecutive wins in a row to get to his spot. And now you think you deserve a shot? Why? Who exactly did you beat? Where have you strung together any amount of wins? Man, you haven't even made it out of mid-tier yet. You've only faced three top-tier opponents in your career. Me, you got bodied. Johnny Storm, you got bodied. And Kruger, you got bodied. You have not proven yourself against a top-tier opponent yet, so how do you think you deserve a title shot when you haven't even really deserved a top-tier opponent yet? I'm battling you for the money. Five stacks. Ten stacks, that's how you want to do it. Ten stacks, that's what we're going to battle for. But you will not get a title shot doing this bullshit. You should know if you if you consider the King of the Dot chain so important, then why would you try to devalue the chain by trying to take a shortcut to the title? That's not how it works. You have to put work in. I have not seen you do anything to earn a title shot, so don't ever speak my name until you're on my level. As far as all the other cats that have been calling me out, we'll see y'all. I'm going to talk with King of the Dot over the next couple weeks, and I'm going to decide who really deserves the title shot at World Domination 4. But it will not be you, Corey Sharon. As far as the written format goes, you have never been on my level. And you never will be. It's as simple as that. When you watch my battles, your fucking head explodes. You can't even fathom the fucking quality of the bars that you're hearing. When you rap, I, I leave. I walk to the bar, I get a drink, I go outside for a cigarette. There's nothing you do that, that captures me or captivates me in any way. I just don't know what the fuck is going through your head. This ain't no after school special, Sharon. This isn't a feel good movie. I mean, I see your little blog, you're trying to appeal to different people's fans, saying that you're going to give $1,000 to Cheddar Cheese, and $1,000 to Disaster, and $1,000 to King of the Dot. Save all the charity. I made the mistake of breaking off someone after winning a lump sum too, and it's never going to be a good look. So you can go on the BET Cypher, embarrass yourself again, embarrass Canadian MCs again, but this King of the Dot chain is going to be nowhere near you. You want to do the battle for 5k? Done. You want a title shot? Go fucking earn it like everybody else did.